parents were also worried about how the new plan would work. Some decided to use different ways to track their kids to make sure that they were where they were supposed to be. While others decided to take matters into their own hands and pick up their kids themselves. Wave News reporter David Mattingly was in one of those pickup lines and joins us live right now from No Middle School. John, you could see it was no ordinary pickup day at this middle school, and you could see that from two blocks away. The line of cars started forming more than an hour and a half before classes let out. Parents in the aftermath of the widespread JCPS transportation failures weren't taking any chances. You got here awfully early today. I did. Um, I wanted to beat all the traffic. Uh, last week I was in line for a little over an hour. So yes, I did want to beat the traffic, so I'm here early. So they got here early and they waited. Archie Snorton decided to get out of his car for a while and wait for his granddaughter in the shade. I feel knowing that I'm picking her up and her getting home at 7, 8 o'clock at night. I know she get there at 4, 430, so I mean, that's why I come up picking up now. It's not unusual to see this many cars coming from the entrance of the school and then lined up down the block. It's also not unusual to see them lined up down the corner here. But look what's happened today. We have cars lined up down the street this way. And we have a line of cars down this street. This time last year, 40 minutes, 30 minutes before pickup time, I would have been in the parking lot as opposed to out here on Brook Street. So I can tell you there's four times as many kids out here getting picked up as there was last year. We could be looking at a new normal. Some parents want to see the root cause of the JCPS transportation debacle addressed before putting their students back on the bus. Oh, it could be next year. I mean, unless a lot, a lot of changes happen. What would you like to see? Uh, more bus drivers would be great. More routes. Other parents tell me that they hope that JCPS can prove to them that they can reliably deliver their children sometime in the next few weeks. Hopefully then, they say, they'll be able to put their children back on the bus. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News.